right, guys, we're going to be talking about Joe Biden and the radical Democrats here in this video. Now, I put up a video, I believe it was last week, where I talked about how the Democrats were pushing their respect for marriage act when it really has no respect for marriage whatsoever because marriage is between a man and a woman. But of course, as you guys know, Congress is in a lame duck session. So now they're trying to push radical agendas through with the help of um, Republicans. Yeah, Republicans actually sold you out if you have any type of religious beliefs. This is insane, guys. But what Joe Biden actually did, he actually invited a drag queen to the signing of this bill. Now, I don't I don't really get what a drag queen actually has to do with this bill. I mean, th this thing, folks, is really going to open up, I believe, a whole can of worms. We're going down a very, very dangerous path. It's only a matter of time before children. You know what? I'm not even going to mention it. I'm not even going to mention it. You guys know where this thing could actually lead. This is a very, very slippery slope. Well, check this out, guys, on Fox News. Biden invites anti-police non-binary drag queen to White House. And this person is for defunding the police. F the police. Th this is crazy. This is another virtue signal by Beijing Biden. But this is the kind of people that he wants to surround himself with. Now, his uh, other non-binary um, person he has in, has in his administration uh, got fired because that person is a shoplifter. These people, man, are into some very, very weird things. But let's read this. The White House invited Marty Gould Cummings, a non-binary drag queen who has repeatedly attacked police online to attend the Disrespect for Marriage Act. Yeah, I called it that. Signing ceremony Tuesday. Cummings thanked Beijing Biden and Jill Biden and shared an image of the digital invitation in a social media post Monday. Last week, the White House passed the legislation. The House passed the legislation, which mans mandates the federal government recognizes same sex marriages in states where they are legal in a 258 to 169 vote that included 29 Republican votes. The surrender Republicans days after the Senate approved the bill in a 61 36 vote. Quote, to be a non-binary drag artist invited to the White House is something I never imagined would happen. Cummins tweeted. Thank you, Beijing Biden, for inviting me to this historic bill signing. Grateful doesn't begin to express the emotions I feel. Cummins is a New York based drag art artist, television personality, and political figure, according to Cummings' website. The site adds that Cummings has been a regular fixture in the city's nightlife and regularly performs six shows a week. And I actually want to show you guys the tweet that Marty put out, but check this out. These tweets are protected, so I'm pretty sure that uh, Marty got roasted posting that uh, invite there because this is insane. This is crazy. In 2020, Cummins ran an unsuccessful campaign for a spot on the New York City Council where defunding the police was part of the campaign platform. Quote, I'm a proud femme queer non-binary non drag artist. Let me repeat that again. Fem, queer, non-binary, drag artist. Okay. Who wants to defund police and fund education, grooming, probably, affordable housing, social work, and I'm running for city council with a lot of other queer candidates, and we are going to fight for, fight for uh, you, the people, not police unions, not real estate, but for you. Cummings tweeted on, June 28th, 2020. And of course, you can't pull up these tweets. But Marty says this police benevolent association of the city of New York are scared, whining and weak. Cummings said 
in a June 2020 tweet, the people will win defund the police. F the police, Cummings tweeted August 24th, 2020. Yes, we want to defund police. Yes, we want to abolish ICE. No, we won't settle for anything less and we'll continue to fight for this to happen. Cummings added a tweet later that day. I guess they have more here. Fox News pulled up a lot of tweets here. Earlier this year, Cummings tweeted support for ACAB Coffee, a cafe that theoretically would serve police officers. ACBA is an acronym for all cops are. I'm not exactly sure. Are they bitches, bastards? I'm not really sure. It's still defund the police and invest in community for me. Funding militarized police over education, housing, mental health care. Parts, free free transportation is mind-boggling. Cummings tweeted in March, let's invest in people. This is the person right here that Beijing Biden wanted there for the disrespect for marriage act. Wow. This is that person. Oh, also, Cummings is a big proponent of drag shows for Children. Look at this. Anyone who thinks drag isn't for children is wrong. Cummings tweeted after posting um, a video. Drag is expression and children are such judgment free beings. They don't really care what you're wearing. And an ad jumped on me. Just what you're performing. Yeah. Now. I've done memory videos, folks, what, what actually goes on in some of these uh, drag shows for children. It's like one of these things were like completely nude. It was disgusting. It was disgusting. So Joe Biden invites a person that's pro defunding the police. Pro drag shows for children. And Joe Biden has been on record. He wants you to chemically castrate your children. And this man is supposed to be. A Catholic. This is just radical right here, man. Very, very radical. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you next time.